Hey, what's up, people? Um, I just got off of work right now, super early. It's a Friday, uh, Labor Day weekend. But the reason why I got out early is because um, my car has been messing up on my Camry. The pulley mount is like it's, it's like rattling, so I gotta go get that fixed right now. And then I decided to run some other errands like wash cars and you know yada yada yada. I'll go get an SD card and you know just a lot of bunch of things. But yeah. Now it's a perfect time to show you what type of cars we have. So, first off, this is probably need to be out. This is my brother's 2019 Mustang GT. Very, very nice car. Very nice. Very aggressive. That'll be my other one, my uh, Camry. And that's too bad. Real hot outside and from the quality, it's gonna look great, but I don't know if it can catch any dirt, specks and spots and things like that. Let me try to, let me try to see if I can find them. Yeah, pretty dirty. Pipes need cleaning. Rims still inside. Since I have time, I might as well go ahead and get it washed, hand washed, not through a car wash. I don't do that with this, this car. I, I feel like it will, it will mess it up. Uh, the car is like so low to the ground. And I just would not do that. I mean, I'm scared of getting off the little ramp up there then I'm definitely not ever trying to take this to a mechanical car wash. I know the guy personally, so I think he's charging me a pretty good price, but I don't know if it's a normal price. 25 seems, you know, pretty immaculate for in and out work. And um, yeah, see you then, see how we do. So I'm at my mechanics and it turned out to be faulty belt and an and alternator, so. That's gonna cost just a little bit more than what I expected, but it'll be alright. It'll be done by the day. I'll catch a cab home. Now the waiting game. Well, uh, I got it done, but shit, Dallas, Texas weather? Sounds like <laughs> shit, you from here? Shit. You already know. If you're not, welcome to Dallas. What I meant by that is. It's raining, so <laughs> you probably won't get a good shot. It was just sunny and sail earlier. I mean, the rain just came out of nowhere. I was watching my snatch up, but I uh, did a pretty good job, honestly. I'm sorry. I just, I mean, at these, man. Wasn't expecting that. It didn't rain, but oh well. New car smell. The um, one of these, I don't know what they call it. Thanks for coming. This um, pad, I guess. Um, basic quick run through of the entire interior. It smells great. My people that live out there around the Dallas Garland area, check out my boy Johnny. It's called Cowboys Car Wash. Check it out. It's on Ferguson Road. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It's gonna be next to a racetrack and some type of supermarket of some sort. Check it out. Tell them that I sent you. This match. Hello everyone. This is two days prior from the clip I just showed you before. So this will be Monday, as you can tell. I'm looking fresh, hitting legs. I thought I was feeling good, but honestly, I only had one meal today, and <laughs> the night before, I kind of did, you know, celebrate it Labor Day, as in any, any other holidays. I had a few beers, a couple shots, nothing too major, but uh, yeah, I usually do it 3:15, but I think honestly, because I only had one meal, and that I didn't really warm up like I had enough 
working sets, I kind of struggled throughout the workout. But I also noticed with me, I'm kind of a late bloomer when it comes to working out. Like in the beginning of the workout, I struggle a lot. But when I'm like near the middle or the end of the workout, I tend to perform way better than what I usually do. So I think from now on, I think I should keep my main compounds at the end or maybe I should have a 15 to 20 minute warm up but I don't know but I honestly feel like I do better when I after a work day after you know 9 to 5 you know, I'm properly hydrated properly rested probably eating and my mind is there my body isn't there 100% but my, my mind is there but yeah I'm here doing a couple squats 275 uh, like 5 sets but I only got videos of two or three footage I believe but yeah I didn't go anything heavier than that I ended up doing the drop set later but I don't think I recorded that but three to five reps man honestly yeah it just felt painful as shit but hey we're in here you know getting shit done and shit you know it's all that matters man. you know I ain't gonna bullshit you you know some days you're gonna have days like these where you just don't want to do shit or you, you want to do something but you can't do the things that you want to do but you know, you're gonna go in there and hit it anyways. I'm also glad that I'm back into recording because it gives me better insight of what I need to work on as far as my lifts, as far as you know how low I need to go or if I'm doing it correctly or improperly. When it comes to legs in general, I believe that it's one of my weak points, but it's something I gotta work on. If y'all wanna get any body parts bigger or stronger, you know, just hit incorporate that movement of that muscle group more than two or three times per week and then you start to notice a lot of gains really rapidly just keep your rep range around I also go fairly heavy around six to eight or if you're trying to make it look more prettier then I would say 12 to 15 maybe 20 it just all depends on how you feel on which you want to grow shout out to my boy Johnny Cowboy Car Wash I'm going to put the link in the description in case y'all are around the Dallas area and you know Want to get a good hand car wash? I would definitely recommend it. Okay, now I'll be quiet and let y'all watch the rest of the video. Thank you and enjoy. Let me know how it goes. You know, feedback is always appreciated. Good, bad, doesn't matter. Just want to know what I need to work on, and I will try my best to cater towards that. Thank you.